So where am I supposed to go? And how the hell am I supposed to get this coordinate grid or figure out where the edges of the sector are? This whole thing is friggin' nuts, the man grumbled as he floated in the inconceivable vastness of the space-time ocean. He had to get the shelter to the borderlands. But where were they? All right, let me think. The more stars there are and the brighter they are, the closer they are to the middle, right? Well, not necessarily, but it's all I got to go on, so I guess I'll just send the shelter to wherever there are the least stars. Swiveling his head from side to side, Sergei spotted an area that was almost completely black. He issued a mental command, and the shelter turned and started flying in the direction he had indicated. It moved slowly at first, but gradually started picking up speed until the roving island was out of sight. Now that it had been cleansed, the roving island had ceased to be a black spot amidst the blackness of space. It was just an ordinary shard with a high level of life force. But it wouldn't stay that way for long. The undead would soon flood it again, and it would be covered in the zombie virus's poison once more. Having completed this crucial task, Sergei went to a meeting attended by all the most important people in the shelter, including Hubert, Solomon, Alice, Emmanuel, Curie, Blaise, and even Valerie. Well, for starters, I'd like to thank everybody. You all did a hell of a job, and we got a crazy amount of rewards for cleansing the Roven Island. Sure, it's a bummer we weren't able to loot the Lord's city, but as we say in Russian, greed whacked the stiff. No one really understood this expression, but they all nodded along anyway. Solomon raised his hand to ask a question. What are you gonna do now, boss? Are you still planning to go to Berlin and then to Russia? Solomon had been seriously injured by the zombie lord, but thanks to some miraculous medicine and rest, he was already back in action. Yeah, but we gotta make some scratch along the way, like a whole lot of scratch. Sergei told everyone about the world heart and what had happened after he'd used it. They were all stunned. Then the earth is dying? Valerie asked, turning pale. The last few days had been so intense and overwhelming, she hadn't had any time to think about something as complicated as the Earth's ultimate fate. 